What up, peeps? Welcome to a Japanese unboxing video. Yeah, let's do this. There's gonna be a bonus one here. We're gonna have one more tomorrow as well. Freaking amazing. Pokemon 3DS. <laughs> the new 3DS plates, these are really cool. This is the first one we've had of this like specific one. We have two boxes here. We're each opening our own, basically. <laughs> this, okay, I guess it's one of them. Sure. We got the Pichu Game Boy Link cables. We've had this once before. We've never, we've had a couple of them. Super like, awesome. Different ones. We've never been able to keep them, like never been able to put them out on the floor because they always sell before. We yeah. <laughs> Which that's not necessarily a bad later. It's pretty cool. Well, they all just saw it. What? They <laughs> okay, this is freaking cool and it doesn't make any sense. It's a, should we open it up? Yeah. It's a Dragon Quest. Yeah, it's not sealed or anything. We can put it back in here, maybe. I don't know. It is a nice bag for it. Oh, it's so cool. At first we thought it was like an actual sword, but it's still pretty awesome. It's just embossed on there. But it's a double pack. But it's a double pack for a 3DS game and a PS4 game. Which is super weird. Yeah. It comes with like, there's like two books in here. Do you want to show one of them? I'll do the red They're one. Like fake looking books. Yeah, I think it opens on the... It's open on the top? It's just a little flap, I think. So yeah, oh, it's, there we go. it's a little page you turn, and then the game's in there. <laughs> That's so... The games are open, cool. so it's definitely not brand new. But yeah. it's so weird to see a Nintendo game with packed a, with a PlayStation game. Yeah. Then, that would that would not fly in the US. It must have been some Square Enix like deal or something. Yeah, because that is... Super weird, but it's really, really cool. We almost got two of Still these. Still got the original little, like, paper protective thing. I feel like we should have got two now. <laughs> well, we can always order another one, maybe. <clears throat> really cool. That is awesome. We have another special edition here. I actually have one of these in my collection. Uh, this is the Fairy Tale Guild Box for it's the huge. Nintendo Switch. It's huge. Really awesome. All right. Um, you know, on or Klonoa... Got announced for Switch, but we got the uh, Japanese one for Wii, which is pretty cool. It's a lot cheaper, obviously, because it's a Japanese copy. Man, your box is a lot cooler than mine. <laughs> we have a bunch of Japanese GameCube games here, and I told Abby before I bought these that she could not keep them all. So these are guaranteed for the store. So we have uh, One Piece and a Naruto game. They're all complete. At least they all should be. Oh, this is a soundtrack. We got the uh, Chrono Trigger soundtrack. That's super cool. It has uh, two discs in there, at least. That's very cool. More GameCube games. We have Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and The Legend of the Quiz Tournament of Champions. I think these are the Which only... is a microphone-compatible game. I think there's only two Switch games besides the other one, maybe? At least in this box. There's more in here. Oh, okay. Well, we got... Fight Crab and Blair Witch, which are two Japanese exclusive ones, I believe, at least physical copies. Yeah, we've had both of those in stock before. Um, the first time we got Fight Crab, though, it came sealed with a soundtrack, so I kept that one for my collection, but still it's, cool. It's so weird how they change it like, pretty quick in the Switch's life cycle. The Japanese ones, it's only in Japan, I believe. There's like, the indentation's different on the Switch games in Japan than in the US. <laughs> Huh. Like, it doesn't do anything, it's just weird. <laughs> More GameCube games. We have a Bleach game and Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. This one came in the box. We got the uh, Play In Micro, which I don't need to talk about it in the last video. Yeah, um, we showed a loose one that we got um, in the vlog that would have went up on f uh, last Friday for you guys. Uh, we got a loose one. I said that Adam would know more about it because it yeah. was his, his doing. It's in Europe. There's three versions. There's two versions in Japan. This is the first or second plan micro. Um, and then the definitive edition, basically the third version, which only was in Europe, is the Nintendo MP3 player. And this is the earlier version. And what's interesting, I got one of these for myself before. So you see this big box? Look at this. <laughs> it's the exact same box, but smaller. Why? <laughs> I think it's because it's supposed to come with like a CD uh, download. I think it, oh, 
It is, it is in here. So it's some uh, software for Windows XP. <laughs> I think that's why it comes in the bigger box, but it's so weird how there's an exact replica <laughs> box inside of there. That's pretty cool. All right, more GameCube games. We have a couple duplicates here. One Piece Grand Battle. We got two of those. And then two WarioWare. It says Made in Wario on the bottom, but I think this is just... Uh, what's it? This uh, micro, mega micro games or whatever it's called. I added this to the order. It was super cheap. Um, but I know it's like a popular little character. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but it actually kind of looks interesting on the gameplay. I don't know. <laughs> but it was super cheap. I was like, let's add it. More GameCube. We have Mario Tennis. Naruto. And then... Uh, some Disney game. Waku Waku Doki Doki something let's... Oh, Disney's Magical Park is what it says on the side. These were very popular last time. And I think we still have two, two more coming as well. <laughs> but we have three of the Pokemon Typing <laughs> Adventures which come with the keyboard in the game. I think one of these is missing the little stand that holds up the DS, but the other ones are complete. Really cool. More GameCube. We have Biohazard Zero, which is Resident Evil in the US. All yours. And then we have Why Why Golf and Odama. It's not all GameCube, but there is a lot of GameCube. I'm just trying to get through all the GameCube before we continue on with other stuff. We have Link to the Past, but this is the Four Swords Plus version, which in this version exclusively has like this Wind Waker mode um, with the Wind Waker characters are like on the screen and they there's like voice acting, but obviously it's in Japanese. And then you link to your, your Game Boy, and then you play the Game Boy game on the thing. I don't know, but it is, I played it. It's really interesting, and it's only on this Japanese version. Cool big box and on that one. Yeah, it comes with the link cable as well. A couple more GameCube. We have two copies of Mario Party 4. That might be the rest of the GameCube in my box. <laughs> we got uh, Maple Story DS, which is pretty cool. And then we have Animal Forest which is Animal Crossing for the N64. And then we have Wario and Mario for the Super Famicom. A lot of soundtracks in here. Oh, there was another GameCube game hiding. There's another uh, Chrono Trigger soundtrack. I think it's the same one, but this one is, this one looks better condition than the other one. We have another Bleach game. I have some soundtracks in here as well. We got a mother soundtrack, which you know, Earthbound and Earthbound Beginning was just released on Switch, so it's really cool. And this is interesting. There's a uh, like live action characters in the back. Yeah, like live action. Is that Ness? I guess I was gonna be mixed up. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Okay, I have a ton of soundtracks, but first, one more GameCube game. Another one of those quiz ones. Yeah, I got, my, I got a bunch of soundtracks in here, too. We have Final Fantasy V original soundtrack. Oh, that's cool. Double disc one. At well, at least two discs. Yep, two discs. We got the Secret of Mana 2 soundtrack. This one is has multiple, but then this there's another one which is different. I'm not sure the difference is, but they're cool. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they look pretty similar, but they have different covers. We have a Final Fantasy XI original soundtrack. Xenosaga 3 soundtrack. A Final Fantasy IX original soundtrack. It has a memory card case inside of it. <laughs> like it it's not a memory, like it just holds the mem memory card in there. That is really interesting. <laughs> That's cool. We have a Final Fantasy VII reunion tracks. We've Japan? had most of these before. Why does Japan have this stuff? I don't know. The Star Onions soundtrack. This is one that uh, Pete Dore bought from us around, what was that like Black Friday? Mm -hmm. He bought one of those off our website. What the hell? Are we, what is, 
Okay, well, we got some Klonoa soundtracks. We have, uh, oh, this is the game. This is Klonoa um, 1, Japanese version. And then we have Klonoa 2 soundtrack, and then the, I believe, Klonoa 1 and 2 soundtrack. But look at the disc. I wonder if that's like to protect it or something. Cause there's like no artwork. Looks like a bootleg. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. But they're, but they're both like similar. Like, yeah, this one has the, sim the same, but with the two logo on it. Those look like bootlegs to me. I mean, those look like extremely obvious bootlegs, but they're usually pretty good about like not selling bootlegs. So I don't know, that's really weird. We'll have to do a little bit more research, but yeah. I mean, those look like bootlegs to me. If you guys know, you know, let us know, obviously, but. We have, uh, what is this, uh, Princess Mononoke? Yeah. Soundtrack. Two disc one. Got another Secret of Mana one. This is the original. We have a couple Splatoon soundtracks. Yeah. Splatoon one has great music. We got the Nintendo Sound History series, Zelda the Music. This one's really cool. And that one's not a bootleg, I, I looked at it. <laughs> oh, I mean, at least looks official, I don't know. If those clinical ones are bootlegs, we're obviously not gonna sell them. Uh, we also have another one. <laughs> I guess we sold the rest of them, but we have the uh, Pokemon Red and Green four disc soundtrack. We've yeah. gotten two of these before and sold them already. Yeah, those have been really popular. This one is factory sealed. <laughs> what? <laughs> this might have to go home with me. <laughs> it's a Donkey Kong Returns soundtrack from Club Nintendo in Japan, but it's factory sealed. I don't think it's factory sealed. He just has a really nice baggie on it. Yeah, they do but, a good job with like taping the bags yeah, down. It looks really nice. We got the uh, Kid Icarus Uprising soundtrack, which is just great music in this game. Then we have Piano Collections from Final Fantasy XI. Oh, yeah. This is an expensive one. This is the Wii U Lens Cleaner Kit. Never seen one of these. Did they release this in the US? For Wii U? I'm not sure. There's a Wii one. It has, like, the disc itself, which, is it different? Yeah, yeah it has, like, these little, little brushes. Brushes. And it's got some liquid in there. Yeah, it's like... Don't spill that. A tube of liquid. <laughs> you can see the bubbles moving around in there. The bags are so loud, so I'm sorry about this. But I'm trying to get it out of there. Got another GameCube game, another YY Golf. And then I have two more soundtracks. These are the same. Uh, Studio Ghibli songs. There's two of them. This one just has the spine card in the front there. But... They are the same. I know, I know it's not video game stuff, but I think those will do really well because it's obviously really popular. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You going? Yeah, oh my god, I still, still have more soundtracks. See, that that still seems like what it should look like. Yeah. Yeah. So the Klonoa well, 2 we soundtrack. have the official Klonoa 2 soundtrack. <laughs> so now we know that the other one is definitely a bootleg. This is a double disc flipper arounder one with the spine card in there which is always cool we have two complete in box copies of japanese copies of ocarina of time these boxes look really cool very nice condition too we have two more of the princess mononoke soundtracks so i guess we have three of those and then this one here looks like a a single case but this is FF Mix, which is Final Fantasy Mix, and it's just got a bunch of different songs on there. You can kind of see, but it's in like a single style case, but it's got a bunch on there, so it's definitely not just, you know, a couple tracks, but it's pretty cool. It has the baggie. Do you want it? Not anymore. Oh, I want it. Don't show the people that I take all the baggies. And oh no. Oh no, Adam. What is that? It's our boy. Dang. Well, I mean, we thought it would probably become loose. It's our boy, our box boy, Amiibo. That's cool. 
It's a loose one. We were hoping it would come complete. Yeah, because the, the one we ordered before was more expensive on a different listing. And we thought this one might come with just the box itself. Because the other one came with the box, the game soundtrack, and the big box. But still really cool. Sometimes it's hard to Nemo. tell. What you got next? Oh, you're like almost I'm done. These, I'm saving these for okay. last. So we have two copies of Tingle's Rosie Rupee Land for the DS. We have two Japanese Virtual Boy games, Virtual Fishing, Japanese exclusive. This one. Um, I don't know. It's a sticker cover. Oh, I think it's this game, right? Oh yeah. So. We got two of these. One of them is complete in box, which I got for my collection, and that is Space Squash for the Virtual Boy. A loose and a loose copy for the store. But there's no dust cover. Yeah, but I have the full North American set, and I have most of the Japanese games as well, because we've just randomly gotten them, so I'm just trying to finish off that set. There's only 22 games total if you include the Japanese ones. We have two more copies of Tingle's Balloon Fight for the DS. We got... Mother 3. And then we have some complete in box Game Boy games here. Two more copies of Pokemon Silver and one of Pokemon Gold. Those keep selling immediately. We also have, first time we've gotten these ones, but we have a boxed copy of Fire Red. This one looks pretty uh, used. We got a Rockman slash Mega Man keychain. <laughs> Probably just take off that little rope part, but really cool. And then we also have two copies of Leaf Green. This one, the box is pretty worn. It's like kind of crushed and everything. This one looks pretty good. This one and the Fire Red, these are the first versions that have the wireless receivers. This is the later version that doesn't have it. In North America, that was a player's choice copy, but in Japan, I guess they just kept the same kind of box. Ugh. Then we have another Switch game, uh, Paradigm Paradox Limited Edition. This one is factory sealed. Pretty cool. Oh, actually, there's two of those, and they're both sealed. This one's in better shape, though. What's next, Adam? I have one of these bags. How many bags do you need for your... 296. <laughs> Well, we have two of the complete box copies of Animal Crossing for N64. Pretty cool. This one has a magnet. We have three Nintendo Wii games, Japanese, of course. We have Tales of Symphonia, which I'm not really sure why we bought that. But these ones, this is a Japanese exclusive. And I looked up a list of like the best Japanese exclusive games. And this was on the list, which is why I got it. And they had two of them. And that is Captain Rainbow for the Wii. Looks pretty cool. Look, someone's name's on it. <laughs> there was writing on the loose one as well. <laughs> and then we have Animal Crossing e-reader cards. Which unfortunately don't work on American e-readers. But... They wonder, are just wonder, a cool collectible. Yeah. I wonder if you use them on a Japanese one in an American Game Boy. Does it work? I don't know. Let's they have all these stickers I, on them. Because I do have... Things. I have a Japanese e-reader. And I, I looked it up and it says that the cards only work on the reader from your region. From the card region. But I don't know if that means... It doesn't so work you can try it and then yeah, let us know. <laughs> so... We have we have one of these packs. I think it's a two card pack, so it's a really small one. And then these ones are five card packs, and we have three of those. But then is this like this is factory seal, which is that's pretty cool. At least I think it's. I mean, it looks, it looks sealed. Yeah, a full complete box factory sealed of the e-reader cards. And we are going to be opening this and selling individual packs. Maybe we should look it up online. Before. <laughs> what if it's I like mean, we, if it's if it's really rare to get it sealed, we won't open it, of course. But um, I think it'll probably be a lot easier and a lot better to sell them as individual packs. That was our plan from yeah, the beginning, anyway. But 
since it's sealed. We'll double check before doing anything, of course. And then we have, what, four items left? So yeah, some pretty cool stuff. These two are really cool. So you guys have seen we order the uh, Sony Pocket Stations all the time. They're like the little, almost like a Sony's version of like a, of a Dreamcast VMU, but uh, we always just get them loose. They've come in the box a couple times, but we got a couple games here that come bundled with them. So this is a big box. It's got a game and the Pocket Station, as you can see in the front there. Um, I don't know if it comes with anything else. I think it's just that, but this one's taped closed and this one's in a bag, which is taped. So I'm not going to open them right now, but um, pretty cool. Um, probably not anything that, you know, most people are going to play, but it's just a cool, just like a cool collection piece. And we got the two biggest items here. Yes. I see a sticker sealed, but it's not sealed. Then, then the ones that you order came sealed for these? One of mine was sealed, but not both. So we are gonna take the bags off of these ones real quick. And loud. Cause I boost that audio. Cause they do such a good job on taping. I like can't even get this off. Together once. Let me get this sticker off the front of the box. They put it in a bag. Why couldn't they put the sticker on the back? Ugh. Okay. Came off pretty good though. All right. The Wii U and 3DS Hyrule Warriors treasure boxes. Treasure boxes for each system. So I think for mine, the Wii U one I think came opened, but my 3DS one came sealed. Um, it could be the other, the other way around. I haven't looked at them for a while, obviously. Oh, I thought this was the 3DS one because this box is smaller, but... I'm gonna do a sound effect. This is the Wii U one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ooh, the stuff inside looks new. So my Wii U one is definitely the opened one because I do not remember seeing that, but I remember seeing all this. So for 3DS, it has the, the Ocarina, which... It's plastic, right? Yeah, it's plastic, but I think it is, like, usable. It's pretty cool. It has, like, a... Uh, it's a little it's, songbook thing. It's in there, but it has a little songbook with it as well. In the Wii U one, we have the big scarf. We have, this is really cool. It's a Navi plush. <laughs> Let's get some of these from our distributors. Yeah, that would be cool. Wait, it'll... Let's take batteries? Probably, the batteries are probably dead if they're in there, but... I don't get... Oh. Oh, it's still new. It hasn't even been you and taken out. We'll leave it in there. But the Navi, uh, it's like a talking one speaks or whatever. <laughs> Probably just says, Hey, listen, <laughs> in the Wii U one, we have a little Triforce, which I think is just like a little display kind of item. Oh, wait, it's a clock. That's cool. <laughs> And then it looks like there's some sort of art book or something in the bottom. Oh, this is super stiff. I don't know if this has ever been opened, but there's an art book in there. And is this a clock as well? Just an analog clock? Well, cool. it looks like a compass, but I, I think it's like supposed to be like a clock. I don't know, but it's really cool. <laughs> and then we have a treasure box. That's so cool. It's not currently working, but when you open it, it's got a music box in here. It's supposed to play the sound. Um, looks like the tab has been pulled on that one, so it probably just needs new batteries. But I think um, you're meant to put the Triforce in here, and then when you open it, it's going to go... Nah, 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 nah. But that's really, really cool. And they all have their own little boxes inside the big box. What's in mine? Uh, what's under there? Oh, there's an art book in that one as well. No treasure trust in this one, but... But you get an ocarina. Yeah. And this one looks like unopened as well. Pretty freaking awesome. Really, really cool stuff. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, we do have some more on the channel that we've done before, and you're gonna get another one tomorrow. 
So definitely check back for that. Thank and you guys for watching. Yeah, by the time you're watching this, it's also everything you see here probably also on the website as well. Yeah, it should be by the time you guys see the video because uh, we're filming this on Thursday night, but we're not going to be putting this stuff into our inventory until probably Monday night. So you should have a good chance of getting some of this stuff if you're interested. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again tomorrow.